as well as Mark Barney. You know, there was a day when I was calling that name out because of something he was doing on the athletic fields and courts of Berkeley County. And now look at him in a tie, in a suit, some George Clooney distinguished type gray hairs filling in there as well, man. How's it going, dude? <laughs> it's going well. Huh? I appreciate all that. It's going very <laughs> right? well. Yeah, man. Thanks for, thanks for having me. You look good. What have you been up to these last 27 years? Last 27 years? Well, I did, I did some college, and I've been, I was teaching. Now I'm the principal at South Middle School. Yeah, how long and have you been principal there, Mark? Principal for five. I was assistant there five years before that. Yeah. Well, nice job. It, Thank you. It, it's good seeing you young people. I can say that now as an old man. <laughs> uh, rise up and do good things in the community. Yes, that, that, that was the goal going into it, obviously, to do good things and, and to create an atmosphere that people want to be part of. And I think we've done a pretty good job with that. And, and these kids have taken the reins and, and done really good things to represent. Yeah, why, don't, why don't you guys fill in behind Mr. Barney here a little bit? Mm -hmm. All right. And tell me, tell me what these great young people are doing there. You um, want, yeah. Yeah, good. You can angle the camera, Matt. We'll fit them all in there. So, I guess we're part of the South Middle School. Yeah, go go ahead and talk into that microphone there. Yeah, <laughs> what, 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 let, let, who's the young lady in the pink? Uh, my name's. Yeah, you come sit down at that chair there first. <laughs> or, me, mechanical maniacs is he wants that mic bad. You're going to get it in a second. <laughs> yeah. what, um, what's your name? My name's Olivia Campbell. Olivia, what are you doing there? Um, at South Middle. Yes. Well, I do a lot of stuff, but um, I'm on the robotics team, which is these guys behind me. Mm -hmm. um, and we really put a lot of effort into what we do, and we we pretty much build robots and make them complete a task. Yeah. And then um, we go to competitions for it, and the competitions get you different places, like to the state championship or the world's championship where we're going next. You're going to the world's championship? Yes. Yeah, and where is that being held? That's in Dallas, Texas. And if you win that, what happens? Do you go to the like um, the, the universal? <laughs> yeah. Um, if we Galactic, win that, what? that would. It's. I mean, we pro we would get a prize of some sort, right? Yeah. But that's very <laughs> unlikely to happen. I mean, it would be cool, but there's a lot uh, of great teams out there. And how long have you been on the robotics team? Uh, two years now. Yeah, two years since yeah. sixth grade. You yeah. must be good at technology, then. I guess you could say that, yeah. All right, Let, let's meet some of your classmates here. What, orange T-shirt guy, come sit down because <laughs> you've been grabbing that microphone since you walked in there. What's your name, young man? My name's Colton. Colton, Colton what? Colton Cole. All right, and what grade are you in? Seven. All right, what what do you do with the robot team here? I'm the designer. I'm the one that builds the robot. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. Really? And what qualifies you to build the robots, Colton? I don't know. I just build a lot of stuff when I'm at home. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When did you start building robots? Well, like just second grade because we did this like this Lego thing in my like other gifted class. So and then whenever I joined this, I thought I'll, and then I seemed pretty good at it. So I just kept doing it. All right. A green T-shirt. You're next. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you guys haven't okay. picked up on this yet, I'm calling you up by your T-shirt colors. What's your name? <laughs> um, I'm Leah Miller. All right. And uh, what do you do with the robots? Um, I just drive the robot and I help with um, we have a notebook that we put our robot processing and like other important stuff because we get judged and we want the judges to see the best of us and we, so we put really anything even if it's something small mm -hmm. and how long have you been doing this two years and what grade are you in seventh okay all right uh bluish lilac t-shirt come, <laughs> come, come sit down here we'll get your name too because you guys all got out of school today to do this we appreciate mr barney having the flexibility there what's your name my name's olive bird so talk right into that microphone there what's Ol your name olive bird all right and what grade are you in i'm in seven and what do you do with the robots here well i i help build some parts of the robot i help with the notebook and then i'm one of the main drivers so how many drivers are there of the robot? Everyone's a driver. Everyone drives the robot? Yeah, and then everyone has set pairs. Is everybody driving? How many robots are we talking about? One. So you all drive different parts of the robot? No, we all well, drive we, all drive, we all drive the same robot. There's just different rounds. There's just driving. different rounds. Oh, I thought everybody had something to do. Like someone's the left arm person, <laughs> somebody's the right arm person, right? Okay, very good. All right, now, uh, we already got pink t-shirt girl, but pink t-shirt guy. What, what's your name? I'm Jackson Painter. All right, Jackson, and what's your uh, deal with this? Um, I am. Uh, I help build sometimes, and mm -hmm. if they need help with a kid, I'll do that, and I'm a driver. You're a driver as well. What grade are you in? Seventh. Seventh grade. And how long have you been doing this? Two years. Okay, two years? Mm -hmm. All right, what's your favorite part of doing this? Besides um, getting out of school to come on the radio. <laughs> 
Other than just the experience in general, probably the relationships that I've made with all of them, uh, we've gotten to be really close with each other, and it's been nice to spend the two years with them. Very nice. All right, black T-shirt hoodie. <laughs> yeah, I brought my shirt. Didn't know if I'd Champion. be on TV also, but um, yeah. So my name's Cameron Smith. Normally, I'd have a blue T-shirt on. Um, I'm the head coder of the group and help uh, help drive uh, also. But yeah, I also like get all the code running for the robot. So, um, you know, it actually functions. And also for the autonomous, which is basically where the robot drives itself uh, through the course. Uh, yeah, do it every year. So. so you're the head coder, so you're the future billionaire out of the group. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I'm reading that? I don't know, maybe. It's got to be the goal. It's got to be the goal. Maybe. 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 All right. Maybe. All right. You stay, stay right there, head coder, Matt Miller. Yeah, because that also means you're the one that when it's not working properly, they're yelling at you, right? <laughs> that, that's a, yeah. Cameron, what's yeah, going on? Oh, really? Okay. So who deserves the yellow? Colton, is it you or, or Cameron? Yeah. I mean, when, when they're yelling at you because it's not working, it's you, they're pointing at Colton. They're like... Oh, and that's what <laughs> Unless he gives me the wrong piece. He's always on another, so he has to get so it. So how much, how much fun is it? It, it? it sounds like a lot of sometimes trial and error. So how much fun is it as you're going through the process and things maybe aren't quite going the way you want, and then you get them to go the way you want? It's got to be a great feeling there. Yeah, um... Uh, it takes a while to get there, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, it is eventually very rewarding when you the code mm -hmm. finally works and you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about the robots. I picture the uh, Robot Wars TV shows and stuff. <laughs> are are you building ones with circular saws and destroying it's other like people's a, robots? It's like a course. It's like a course that we have. Uh, yep, jump, jump on closer to the microphone. Yeah. BattleBots. You're talking about rap, uh, BattleBots. BattleBots. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Like every single, every year, there's like a new game that we have to build a robot for. So like th last year, it was like we had to shoot pucks under, a, we had to shoot pucks under a bar and stuff. But this year, we have to pick up blocks and fill the buckets up as much as we can. <laughs> <laughs> They're pushing you right on the microphone there. Yeah, and get then, right in uh, there. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful right there. You see that little <laughs> subtle slide? Bring yeah. Good job. And then we uh, so after that, we normally. So after we normally get the game analysis, <laughs> and then they normally tell me what they want me to build and how they want me to build it, and then that's how we normally figure out what we need to do for the new game. So it's so, not battle bots, nothing like battle. Bots. So as you've done these competitions to get to the point where you guys are going to Dallas, how many teams were there at these competitions? Oh, like probably we probably encountered like over a thousand teams out for every competition we've had. Yeah. Wow. That is, we're, we're in the presence of greatness. That's amazing. <laughs> awesome. What is, uh, I mean, how tense does it get when you're in the competition? Like, we, were, we were in a fight for second and first place by like point four four or five points. Yeah. It was hmm. crazy. Though we did end up with like a one and then, point and then, like, and then we did end up with like a one point difference, so it was really helpful. Are there other kids on the team who are not in here today? Mm -hmm. no, this is the entire team? team. We have we have yeah, multiple teams, but we're the, the team we're the we're the team that made it. So you guys are the champs. Mm -hmm. They're organized by grade level. You guys, this is our seventh grade team. Okay, uh, you guys are the best. Sixth grade and eighth grade team. You guys are the best of the best. You get to go to like Top Gun for robot stuff. <laughs> this is cool. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So have any of you ever been to Dallas before? Yeah, yeah we did last year. year. We went last year. Oh my gosh! So you guys have made it two years in a row. That's amazing. I think that's the longest runway of any airport I've ever been on in my life. Which one? Dallas. Oh, really? Hmm. DFW. I remember landing there. It was about 175 degrees, and we just sat in that plane <laughs> while it taxied for what seemed like an hour to get to the terminal. Yeah. All right, so uh, when do you go? April 30th. April 30th? We get, we get on the plane April 30th. Have you guys raised enough money? No. 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 What do you need? Yeah, I think we're on the yeah, we're close. We're almost yeah. there. We're just getting hey, stuff for. You're, you're on the air. They're asking about raising money. Go yeah, so <laughs> yes, we need more money. Yeah. yeah. If you want, like a donate, that would be helpful. What are, we, uh, are we selling anything, Mark? Or are we, what are we doing yeah, to raise money for the trip? We haven't sold anything. We've had some support from the state. Um, we've had some support locally from the from the local school board um, with with a few things, and we've obviously had some some uh -huh. you know community NASA right around the school that have NASA supported us. us too. What do we just make a NASA? check out yeah, to, to Martinsburg South Middle School? That would do it. I will right, well, Bodwell. Insurance Solutions is in for $150. So I'll drop a check off this afternoon. How much do you need, Mark? They, they're they're at a pretty good. The, what it becomes down. What we're down to now is like meal money mm -hmm. for the kids while they're there. Um, we've we've taken care of hotel rooms, travels pretty well taken care of. So we're not at a big number like we were when we started. It, yeah. it, it's down to 
you know, th- some of the extras. A couple thousand bucks for food at this point? That would probably, that would be uh, tremendous. They don't eat much, right? You don't eat much? <laughs> you, know? you could bring some of those little cheese and crackers in the packets, you know? Peanut butter. Hey, how long are you going to yeah, be there? She's, she's the one that handles the one. How long are you going to be Four days. Four days, yeah. The one hiding over there that won't talk or come no, to our camera? No, she's not. I'm a parent. I'm just, a, I'm just a driver. I didn't do anything. I just moved out of the way now that it's apparent that you're in the corner. <laughs> yeah. So ultimately, how much money do we think would cover food for how many days did you say? Four. Four and days. And it's one, two, one three, family. four, five, six kids. Yeah. And then six parents. Mm. And six parents. Some chaperones. Family. Mm-hmm. Thousand dollars. I would say if, you, if we were in that neighborhood, we'd yeah. feel really All right. good. So, where, where do you go to drop off a check or donate money here, Mark? You can bring it to South Middle School. We'd love to see it. We'd love to have community South members in and showcase what we're doing. So you can stop by South Middle School and make it out. You have to... a spot fund. Yeah, spot fund account which you can donate. All right, and, and how do you get to your spot fund account? Uh, do we bring flyers? We can put it on our website. Yeah, on your website. What's your website? Martinsburg South Middle School. Could you come to the microphone and say that so we could all hear it? I can do it. Come on, you can do it. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on Pink Sweater. Come on, Pink Sweater. Uh, if you go to our Martinsburg South Middle School website, we will make sure that the spot fund is on there today. Very right, good. Thank See, you. I knew we'd get her if we yes. just, just cajoled her enough. <laughs> How big is the robot? Uh, we have, have a well, yeah, we have a picture of it. Let me see it. Oh, uh, it's like we it's size requirements. So like the. The designers of the game that they give us, like the design requirement, so it can't exceed 20 inches long. All right. hey, here's what I want you to do, pink T-shirt guy. Go, go into the room with Dylan, the producer, and he's going to show you how to get him your photo of the robot. Just go walk out this door and go into the other door. Show Dylan your photo, and then he's going to be able to get it up on the screen. I have a video, too. You have a photo? I have a photo from literally last week. All right, we'll go in oh, there. There we go. Photo too. Yeah, that's, that's another way. And you guys know Mr. Hornby? Mm-hmm. Like his, yeah. his, Carly's, Carly's dad and Dexter's dad. Yeah. 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 His, son, his son was on the eighth grade team. Yes, yeah, so I was going to say, I know Dexter was on one of the teams as well at one point along the way, right? So, so the fact that I'm, I'm hearing that they, they do them by grades, and so if you're saying you're going back to Dallas, so as sixth graders you went last year, mm-hmm. and now year. here you are as seventh graders going again. Yes. Yeah. So your eighth grade year, the pressure's on. you got to go back go. A, a third time. Would that be the first time ever since robotics has been at South to have to have three go yeah. Yeah. to have the same group to have the same yeah. yes yeah. yes how long have you had a robotics program um, Mrs Everts Mrs Everts been there about seven years she's probably five years into the robotics program right. with a lot of success here in the past two to three years these yeah. trips to Dallas have mm-hmm. become a thing because these kids they work yeah. hard they perform um, just in the past th- two or three years we've had good success with that. We were actually Miss Everett's first ever sixth grade team to make it to Worlds, so that Great. was pretty cool. So how much time per week do you guys spend? Uh, let me get the coder guy back in here, Black Hoodie Dude. <laughs> right? How, many, how much time a week do you guys spend working with the robot? Well, um, we usually come in uh, during our armor times, which is basically like kind of study hall. Um, and we also sometimes, well, or occasionally just, like, yeah, yeah, some people come in lunch every day. Uh, so we usually get a lot of driving practice in, and um, if we make any changes to the robot, then we document them in the notebook, yeah. which we have. I get like eight hours. Yeah, I get like yeah. two hours a day. At least two hours yeah. a day? Mm-hmm. So, after yeah, about one, yeah, what, like one like and a half. every Thursday. So. Yeah, like one and a half hours a day at least. Yeah, one for, and a half. For him, yeah, definitely. Um, so maybe, I don't know, 7.5 hours a week, maybe closer to eight. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah quite a lot. We have a dedicated space for these kids to work. It's it's pretty big class. It was a classroom, and we just decided we were going to commit to this, and and so we dedicate the space for them to work in. If you go by during the lunch block, so sixth grade, seventh grade, or eighth grade lunch, depending upon what grade you're in, something else is going on. You're either in fifth period or you're in the study hall period. They're talking about. You go by there during that three, uh, you know, 120 minute period. One of these guys is going to be in there working. Some of these robotics kids are going to be in there working. There's something going on during that time frame. And, and what do you have to do, just, Mark, to be on the team? Do you have to pass a test? Can anybody? Could you have 50 kids on the we, team, or we, how do you? Since like we were her, since come, come over to the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> there, we have the. I think we're getting the robot shot on screen there, right? Since we were her first sixth grade team, we uh we picked the sixth graders this year. Like everybody had to sign up that wanted to do it, and they wrote like why they wanted to get in. And then we all looked at it with Miss Everts and decided what if there was good if like they wanted if we think that they would have been good enough to go in or not and like if they had the right reason to go into the robotics team. Mm-hmm. 
the popularity of the program has created a high level mm -hmm. of interest, and so Miss Evers yeah. has to manage the numbers. Um, sure. Yeah. Like, um, we don't want a lot of people to go in just for going to Dallas, because, like, we're not going to be able to go to Dallas if you don't try, you know what I mean? Sure. Oh, mm -hmm. I do know what you mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you have to be good at certain subjects to be able to succeed at working with the robots? Not, not really. Go ahead. Not really. I mean, you got to have, like, a somewhat of, like, a problem-solving skill because there's a lot of problems with the robot. Like what? What happens like, with the robot? A lot of trial and error. Like, whenever the robot arm breaks, i got to figure out why it's not why it's not stable enough, why I have to, like, re where I can restable it without making a go out of size requirement. And do you have to do this during the competition? No, just, just during practice. Like, I get everything working before competition, so. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dylan, can you put the picture of the robot back up for us? Um, so that we can have them sort of look at the robot and tell us a little bit about what is what. Yeah, okay. there's a lot of Lego pieces yeah. to the robot that you're seeing. It's going to pop up. We're in about a 20-second delay on the screen you're looking at here, so that's going to pop up in just a second here, and you'll be able to see. They've got a delay because they never know what I'm going to say. <laughs> there you go. So there's uh, the robot. So you see that? You see, like, so the arm part, the basket part right there with all pointing at? Uh-huh. That's the part that, like, the that holds the blocks in. So whenever okay. we... So then that spinner, that roller right there? The blue roller. Yeah, that would spin all the blocks up into that basket. Yeah. And then we'd lift the basket up, and then it would spin them out into the bucket, that red bucket over there. In the back. All right. Yes. Okay. And, and then it, we also had that, we also have, like, there's a lot of gear ratio, which, like, how many, like, you see how, like, that gear is bigger than that blue gear down mm -hmm. there? That makes it spin it faster, because, like, for every three turns you get to that orange you get like eight turns of that blue so, so what really what works. makes your robot better than everybody else's robot fast, that you're winning this it's very fast and like we practice driving every day so we were really good drivers too hmm. so, like, so you have really to be fast drivers. and accurate here what do you um what do you power it with what what type of battery tesla Um, yeah, 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 jump jump right in. Pink t-shirt guy. <laughs> I guess, like, the, the motors, they're just, they come in, like, sets, like, with all the pieces, right? And they just give us, like, a few motors in the set to use. So you have to use what they give you to use? Yeah, we do. Yeah. We're not allowed to use any pieces that aren't issued by them, or we could get disqualified. Who's them? Like, the, the VEC, VEC people. Yeah, the cooperative. Corporation. And when do you find out what your robot assignment is? Is it, is it not till you get to the competition or what? It's at the end of world. It's at the so at the end of the world competition that happens the year before, they show what the next challenge is going to be. Okay. And we get to see that and then from there on until the next competition we're able to build and figure out what to do. So the robot we're looking at, they kind of send you a kit with everything that you'll need in it, and, and you have to use, you don't have to use everything, obviously, right? But then you kind of figure out with what they've given you how you're going to design yours. Yeah, we don't okay. have like, a limit on the amount of pieces we can use, but okay. we just can't use anything not by that, like mm -hmm. Vivex. Okay. Is the robot pretty much 100% Lego? Yeah, it's 100% it's yeah. Lego. Besides the, besides the brain. Really it's not Lego. It's not Lego. Yeah. It's not Lego. <laughs> but it's it's all the brand. Lego actually. style. Yeah, Lego yeah style. it's all of that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is is there uh, another competition this year? Or is this the yeah, last this one? This is the last one. This is the last okay. one. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then what do you do in eighth grade for this? Uh, it's going to be so. Once once world is done, it'll be like the same premise, but we'll have a different challenge. Like we won't be picking up the blocks anymore. We'll have something different. Well, we don't know what it is yet. And so, and so every grade does the same thing. So yeah. sixth, seventh, and eighth, it's all the same project. It doesn't change per grade. What's the name of the game that we're doing? Rapid relay. So rapid relay. we do know for the next like challenge for next year, it's called rapid relay. But that's all we know. So what's world? So we is think over? that we just need to build a fast yeah. robot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we really don't know. No, we're going to close with tall, pe uh, tall pink T-shirt. Okay, because you started. <laughs> so that's how, that's how we'll close this yep. up. What happens to this robot at the end of this year? Um. So at the end of this year, we're going to take it apart, and then we'll use the pieces from this robot for next year. So we just reuse the same pieces. Okay. Uh, why do you have to take it apart? Why? Yes. Um, because there's no point in using it anymore. It's not going to be needed for the next But if it's a world champion robot, I mean, if you win in Dallas, you can't just come home and be like, sorry, fella, you're done, and, and take it apart. I mean, you got to have a little... Can't we give this guy a trophy case and a proper retirement mark? <laughs> they got to take it apart, though, because with all the AI coming, the robot could eventually take over if you don't take it apart. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Like, if we make it... Like, if we make it... You're going to come... 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 You
Yeah, we have to. So, like, if we make it into the finals of our division, yeah. like, we'd be the first team in West Virginia to ever do it. So, I don't yeah, think right. we take the robot apart then. Yeah. yeah. You got to give him a, uh, you know, a proper send up. You yeah, put him in his own display trophy case, case, right? Put yeah. him right there in the lobby of the school with the other trophies, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, good luck to you folks. When are you taking off? Um, a week from today. And Mark, where can we drop off donations to South Middle? Well, we're going to link up their spot fund on the website, South Middle School website. You just access that through Berkeley County Schools, um, and you just can stop by the school. Like I said, we'd love to have people from the community in, in, in That's the school. That's awesome. Mr. Miller, he visits yeah. us on a regular basis. Hey, thanks for coming in. Great meeting all you folks, and best of luck to you. Become Thank world you. champions. Good luck. Good job. Good all job. right. Robotics team from South Middle, let's give a big hand on the way out the, the door. Yes. <laughs>